Okay, so I got some questions on my Discord here where the Axis Projection Arrays has gone and they are deprecated. But fear not, we can make our own. So yeah, yes, this is just a quick one here how to create your own Axis Projection Arrays and these type of things. Essentially, just a gizmo. Let's take a look at that, see what we can do here. What you need here, you need a regular axis projection here. So let's just create this. So you, depending on how many outputs you want in your array, you just duplicate this, edit, duplicate with connections like so. So let's say that this is call map, this is specular roughness. Maybe we want a, uh, a bump and edit duplicate with connections. We can have this displacement and uh, let's say that we need a normal as well. Edit duplicate or shift D. So here we have a, a bunch of uh, nodes that we want to create our array from. So what we do here, we just select all of these and control G. So we group it and you see here now we have a, a group here. So we're going to convert this into a procedural node. But first off, we need the outputs. So you see we have one output, but we want more outputs. So let's go here into the group. Control double click. It's going to drag this there. We need outputs. So this one is going to be column map. And we need additional outputs. So let's make this specular roughness. So first output. And we connect this one and say spec r this one we want output bump or whatever we want bump this one we want disp or normal if we have normals and this one let's say disp in the in the bottom there now looking here at the outside here is our array so to speak but we have made it ourselves so now we need to uh, actually make some functionality to this is here so we, we go to our manifold here and we set up what we want to able to control so we, let's say that we want to be able to control all of this for the user like so okay let's, yeah, let's take the whole node there okay and this one we can start to actually rename here call spec or bump Let's make this normal and this one this like so. And now we want to go in here and populate. So we want to be able to actually change the images from outside. So we go to one each of these axis projections and just hit the cog here for the image slot here like so. And spec R. Let, let's do this for all of them. And let's go here on the outside. Let's clear this so we don't have and I'll double click here. We can see here. Here we have the settings for the node and here we have all of the inputs. So if I go here and say take my image manager. You can say here call uh, specular roughness. That's this one. We want bump. That one. Don't have a normal now so. And displacement. And you see here, the mega scan here usually comes just the red channel. If we want to actually have uh, the red channel piped out as uh, in all of the channels, we can do that. So we can go into the gizmo here and actually do some sanity here. So we want to actually go here to my displacement and say vector combine and a flow. This is optional. This is just how I usually do it. Set the alpha to one there, just override. Then we take, we want a vector split as well. We want to have this one go into the input. And then we want to take the red channel to all red, green and blue. And pipe this one out. So essentially now I'm taking the red channel that we have there and just piping it into red, green and blue. So now the going to be a monochromatic output from this node. If I look from the outside here, this place is going to be uh, black and white or gray. 
instead of just red depending on your needs so yeah essentially now we have uh, similar to what the axis projection array was but you can just make your own so now we want to package this so like my home groove array like so go to the node and now we want to uh, convert to custom procedural and we can say that this is a uh, yeah color procedural and we give this a path here so where we want to save it on disk so i browse to a path somewhere where i want to save my procedural here so this is already saved here and we can actually now also say uh, some tags here so array projection axis projection and export as custom procedural okay so now we can actually read this back from disks here so let's take this and go here to my shelf here and say import items let's take something meshman i want to have a new some something here called procedurals a new shelf import item and browse to that location and there we have it so now if i want to use a uh, we can take this one away you want to use a uh, your homebrew axis projection you can just drag it in and there you have it like so and you can now start to change the the size rotate and do whatever you want and if you need more and if you need more settings you can go in here and actually start to uh, refine you can let's say that you want to do some jitter noise or whatever you can hook it ho hook up these uh, inputs as well if you want to build your gizmo that way so this is uh, just a simple way how you can create your own procedural and mimic what you have with the axis projection array that some people have asked where is gone uh, from the extension pack in recent and that's because you can build your own and now with material creation and materials axis projection array is probably not as valid as it was before the mori material containers came to be so a material um principle brf as more proper let's drag this one in here again so let's see here so base is base color specular roughness and then we have bump and uh, if we would have normal you would pipe it there bump and displacement so essentially a material that is similar to this but it's meant to house your uh, you know your complete materials in a way but yeah, uh, now you know how to build your own axis projection array if you want that. So yeah, that's kind of answers a bit about that question. And that will conclude this episode. And as usual, if you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. See you in the channel. Bye bye.